The bad boy can be extreme. He can be kind of a dick. He can be kind of an asshole. But when he wants her, he wants her. When he likes her, he likes her and she knows it. She knows he really means it when he says, I want to bend you over and fuck you. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about why women love bad boys. And um, this is a, an interesting topic. It's, uh, it's one that I kind of like a lot. And the reason I like it a lot is, is because it tends to surprise the guys that ask me this question. They're always surprised by my answer. And my answer is very simple because bad boys are more honest on average. And the reason that is, is because the average guy that's comparing himself to a bad boy is the nice guy. And the nice guy is always trying to get a woman to like him. It's always like, I'll buy you this and you give me that. I'm going to take you to a really nice dinner. I'm going to treat you really nice and I'm going to give you everything you want and then you should like me back. It's very manipulative. It's very dishonest. It's, it has a lot of, uh, of subversive energy to it. And so eventually, even though the woman gets treated really well, she doesn't like it. She can get the, the nice guy to do anything she wants. She can wrap him around his finger. He'll jump when she says jump. He's not honest with her. Now compare that to the bad boy. What does the bad boy do that's different? Well, first off, the bad boy is not afraid of her. He's not gonna just tell her what she wants to hear. He's not afraid to say no to her. He's not afraid to say, I'd rather go to this restaurant. He's not even afraid to say, if you wanna come hang out with me, this is what I'm doing and you can come along, but if you don't, if you don't wanna go, I don't care. The bad boy can be extreme. He can be kind of a dick. He can be kind of an asshole. But when he wants her, he wants her. When he likes her, he likes her and she knows it. She knows he, he really means it when he says, I wanna bend you over and fuck you. It, it means something to him. And the nice guy on the other hand, wouldn't even say that. The nice guy's always getting rid of the tension. He's always saying, what do you wanna go to dinner? Because he's a afraid of upsetting her. When it comes to sex, he's like gingerly moving towards sex because he's afraid again of the tension. He's afraid to access any tension because it might upset her. Tension has the possibility of being re uh, creating rejection, of getting her upset, of getting a no, and he's scared to death of tension. Matter of fact, he spent his whole life getting rid of all the tension to, in the hopes to make everybody happy. And that's what nice guys typically do. The bad boy, on the other hand, he plays with tension. He dances in it. He says no just for fun. He, when he is attracted to her, he lets her know it, looks her right in the eye. And she, she feels that penetrating energy because he enjoys it. He's not afraid of his own turn on. Him. He's not afraid to look at her and say, you're turning me on right now. Not because he wants something from her, but because he means it, because he enjoys it. You see, the bad boy is not seeking validation from her. Therefore, he can fully enjoy her. Yes, he's a dick. Yes, he can say no. Uh, yes, he can say no to her and be an asshole sometimes. But at least she's got a man that's not afraid of tension. And that means a lot. Now, we're going to look at this one more way. If we look at history and we go back, let's say a thousand years to a primitive tribe, and you had a nice guy and a bad boy in the primitive tribe, and the nice guy comes along and he's a little careful, he's careful, he wants to make everybody happy because he's a nice guy. So he's getting rid of all the tension. He doesn't step into tension. So when it comes time to go hunting, to build shelter, to uh, deal with another maybe invading tribe, to go out and, and deal with the stuff that men in a tribe had to deal with back then, is he gonna be good at it? He's gonna be afraid of the tension that he has to deal with. He's gonna be nervous. He's gonna be gingerly about it. He's gonna always be cautious and maybe too cautious. And for a woman back then, that was dangerous. There's a chance she's not gonna get food. She's not gonna get fed. She's gonna be at the bottom of the totem pole because my man can't handle the shit when the shit hits the fan. A bad boy, on the other hand, at least he's gonna go out and get shit done. He's gonna go hunting. He's gonna be able to kill, he's gonna be able to fight, he's gonna say, I'm gonna get shit, he's gonna stand up to other people, and he's gonna be able to protect her much better. So when you, when her DNA looks at the bad boy, when her genes meet the bad boy, there's a part of her that says, this man can handle the shit when the shit hits the fan. He's not always nice, he's not always sweet, but he gets shit done. And that means so much more to her than just being nice. You see, what women want is a man that's really, real, that's authentic. They don't want nice. 
They want you to be nice because you want to be nice, not because you have to be nice. That's the difference. And if they want you to be able to say no to them and disagree with them, they want to know they're going to get the truth from you. And that's the one thing the bad boy gives them. So I'm going to present a third option here. Instead of being the bad boy, instead of being an asshole, instead of being the nice guy, be a real man, a man that's authentic and real. That's nice because he chooses to be, not because he has to be. That can also say no to a woman and can also play with tension and can also whack her on the ass and say, you're being a bad girl right now. Come here. Because he enjoys it, because he's having fun with her, not because he's a dick. See, women will appreciate that so much more. That is ultimately, in my opinion, the man that every woman's looking for. A man that's the best of the nice guy. He has good intentions, but he's still gonna uh, set down boundaries and, and say no and play with her. And he's not afraid to look at her and say, you turn me on, woman. He's not afraid to tell her, I'm gonna bend you over tonight and have a great time with you. Because he doesn't need her validation, he ultimately can be totally giving. So make sure to like this video if you liked it and make sure to subscribe. Also make sure to comment below. We love your comments. We appreciate your comments. We get a lot of our videos from your comments. Let us know what you think of the nice guy. Let us know what you think of the bad boy. Which one are you? Do you tend to be on one side more than the other? And let us know what you're doing to work on being more real and more honest with women and how that's working out for you. And with that said, remember, only the confident really live. See you in the next video.